last time on the UNP. This episode takes place in a fair... Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Unpavement. I'm Jeremy McGee, and I'm on a mission to document trails for adaptive riders. This episode is super special. We are in the Santa Barbara backcountry in the Los Padres National Forest. And guess who I'm with? <laughs> We're on a mission to go kind of deep into the Santa Barbara backcountry in Los Padres National Forest and do a little excavator rescue. My excavator that does trail work has been stranded back there for a while because a wood rat ate the wiring harness and it needs a new tarp until I can get there or we can get there to fix it. So we're going up Buckhorn Road. We're going to see the view. We're going to get a good long ride in and we're going to drop in and put a new tarp on my excavator. Yee. Look at that beautiful grandma mobile. Oh, what's up? How's it going? Ryan Porteous in the house. Check out this setup. Okay, I was making fun of his grandma van when he pulled up, but look at this. The bike and two surfboards fit in the back. This is awesome. And looks like he's got a couple wood ramps that he made himself. Oh yeah, look at his pulley system he's got. Ryan, you're from San Diego, right? Yeah. But you live here in Santa Barbara. So you, were you going to UC Santa Barbara? Yeah, so I went there for four years and then didn't want to leave Santa Barbara. Got what were you studying? Uh, mechanical engineering. Oh, he's a smarty pants. <laughs> Why are you in a wheelchair? Uh, I broke my neck about six years ago or seven years ago um slipped on a boat dock hit, hit my head on the side of the dock going in the water c6 incomplete spinal cord injury super freak accident people that don't know i'll tell them like hey my buddy ryan's a quadriplegic but they're like wait he can use his arms yeah people think that like oh quad means you can't move your legs or arms at all yeah and it's most of the time it's like you have partial paralysis in your arms but wait you're a quadriplegic and you can mountain bike <laughs> yeah oh, look at this crazy For the route, we climbed all the way up Buckhorn Road and stopped at the first peak. After a little lunch, we continued further up the road, turned around at about the eight mile mark, and then went wee, 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 all the way home on the downhill. About 16 miles, five hours because we stopped a lot, and just under 2,500 feet of ascent. All right, we're turning around because um, Ryan's not coming. <laughs> Ryan's back there working on his bike, so I'm gonna go check on him and see uh, what's going on. Everything cool? What was that? I like, bent that little tensioner last time and it's like popped off. There is one spot with some slight off camber where it looks like there was a little slide, but most adaptive riders should have no problem. Yeah. Having a power assist allows Ryan to crank with one arm and steer with the other. When the body position gets a little uncomfortable, he can sit up and use the throttle. Pretty awesome to watch. Oh, 
yeah, major. There's a lot of burnt trees. It looks like the fires ripped through here too. Whew. Crank with one hand for a second. Chris is telling us about this trail right here that he's done work on. The Camwesa connector. Apparently it gets uh, narrow and exposed and wouldn't be fun, so we're gonna stick to the fire road. Suck it, Ryan. <laughs> we're gonna cruise up to that turnout on the left up there and see if we can spy the excavator that's across the valley. We gotta continue up higher and get around for a different view. On paddleboard? Oh, that's awesome. 2.64 miles. Chris said this is 10 mile climb. Oh, I'm dying. Probably have about 10,000 years of Native American indig indigenous population um, in, the, in the valleys right here. Down right on his bike. His bike shiny new. Blue rock and a little bit to the right. You can you can follow the trail too. Oh, I couldn't wait for him. Which piece? Mmm, that's delicious. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boom! Salute. Made it to the top. Had to put a little layer on because I'm all sweaty and it's got a nice breeze going, so I got a little chilly. We're gonna ride another mile down the road just to check it out and then come back and we're gonna have some fun downhill. Air out. Air and down. Stretch it out. Wow, this is so beautiful. Oh my god. Chris's friend Blake came to join us. Thanks for joining us, bro. Yeah, man, this is awesome. You ready to send it on this downhill or what? Oh, yeah.
spend all of our money on this street I like it over there Even though you think it is too crowded Like Broadway and all the lies We'll take the wrong train till we end up on Wall Street Forget the time, cause the hotel will get out of line Take me back to Manhattan Back to the city where the magic happens You wear your suit and tie and I will wear my satin Where all the lights are bright and we won't even make it back till 3 a.m. That's delicious. Trader Joe's, 10 bucks for this. I love it. We'll see tomorrow if you still love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good out. Later. All the lights, all the music is in the air. I can see it's on the rooftops, hand in hand now, baby. That was crazy fun. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. It really helps out the channel. Stay tuned for next week's episode. Where are we going to ride tomorrow? We are still figuring that out. We'll find out later, but make sure you join us. Bye. That's the Hollywood magic. <laughs> are there any potential dilemmas out there on the road? So there's no lemon trees, but the lemons could be... <laughs> the lemons. The lemons. Those are cool underwears. Take a old tube and put it up your butt. Gotta get the one out of there first. Oh! Ryan, you're Native American, aren't you? <laughs> White boy. GoPro, stop recording. Oh.